everybody and welcome to part 2 of the online e-lesson made by me. The learning key. Area of a triangle. Today we'll be doing mini questions, something like a test. Without further ado, let us begin. Let's recap. How do you find the area of a triangle? Answer. Half time, base time, height. Okay, some things I'm going to have to change here. Okay, I have to change some things over here. Okay. Uh, wait a... Uh. Okay, so there are a total of three vertexes in the base. This is very important. If you realize I have a new laptop. Uh, and then after that, um, there are three types of triangles. Acute triangle, which is also acute angle triangle. Acute triangle means that the height is always in the middle. Right angle triangle. The height is always at the side of the triangle. Last but not least, we also have an obtuse angle triangle. So I'll just call it an obtuse triangle. The height is outside of the triangle. That means you must draw to find the height. Keywords outside of the triangle at the side. This is very important in the middle. So this is a very important learning point. Okay, next. So this is a very important learning point. Let's move on. The height of a triangle is 8 cm and the base is 7 cm. What is the area of the triangle? So, 1, 1, 2, 5, 6, 30, 28. Okay, so, this is very easy. What is the formula for area? Oh, sorry. Formula for area is formula is half time base time high. Very easy. Next. So what is the so now we just have to do half times what is the base the base is seven seven times what is the height the height is eight eight so we do simplification so become seven times four equals to twenty eight option four common answer fifty six they just think they just think oh it's so easy so you just do so they just do 8 times 7 equals 56. This is the answer. Wrong. This is a 0. So this should be the correct answer. This is a too much question just for information. Next question. Uh, area of triangle ABC. So on the area. Area again is half time base time height.
so half is so that's why you don't have to care about five because the height is this the base is this so we just have to take half times three times four simplification six common answer twelve so it's not six i don't even know how you get ten uh not seven point five seven point five because you do by the five is wrong and then after that is six this is a two marks also very easy next area of triangle xyz so height base don't care about this don't care about this so it's half times 10 times 4 which is 5 times 4 which is if you can count mentally it's 20 so common answer 40 the answer is 20 so this is wrong this is wrong i don't even know how you get this don't focus on 6 6 do not they were i think i write outside easier so always remember do not focus on the number 6 focusing on the number 6 is wrong then you'll just get you to you just made your answer wrong because they want you to so the area the formula of the area as you so is half time base time height so we so what is the half the half is normal time base base is four oh, base is ten height is four this is unnecessary so as this Okay, so all you have to do is sometimes you just focus on, sometimes you can do a trick. Ah, this is the trick question. PQR is a rectangle and length is twice its breadth. So, length, length is twice its breadth. So, length, breadth. Length is twice its breadth. So, find the area of the shaded triangle, which is this part. Ah. Okay, so the breadth. Now we know that the breadth. Now we need to know that the breadth is 8. So, here is. So, now we know that there is 3. There is given. It's just I forgot to put it there. So, there is 3. 3 cm. And here is 5. With a. So here is 5 cm. Okay, so how are we going to find this part? Easy what? 60 minus 11, 60 minus 5, which is 11. Okay, so this part is 11. So the area of the shaded triangle is. E so you already know this is 3, this is 11. But then what about this part? So it's 44. How? Because the breadth is already 8 as I told you just now. So the area of this entire thing is 16 times 8 which is 128. Area of the unshaded. So that means the area of the unshaded is half, is 16 times 8. 16 times 8. Plus half, one half times 8 times 5. So half times 8 times 5 equals to 64 plus 20 is 84. So you take the total, so you take what you had just now, minus 84 to get the answer of 44 cm squared. Uh, only this question is a star question. The rest should be very easy. There should be no problem with the other questions. Yeah, there should be no problem with the other questions. This part is also very important to know. Okay, with that, I will end the session here. Thank you for watching. Oh my god.